Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and today we got another unboxing. And, <laughs> and this happens to be. What? Don't worry about it. You don't care. Sorry, guys. You guys probably can't hear her. That's my lovely wife, Kara, in the background. Um, asking me questions about my unboxing. Hey, hey, hey. hey. It's. That's one. Gently. Oh, looks so dangerous. Gently un. Do the sticker. Why did they send this to you? Random? Because we're or do awesome. You know what it is? I do not yet. So let's find out. I mean, this paper will tell you, but we're gonna just find out because. Oh. oh, that was so <laughs> anticlimactic. Oh, oh, did they do the thing where they send like the the. Oh, that's, that's so cute. Oh, it's the new stainless version. Awesome. What is it? So that is the um the the either. Fox or Knox, the N O X, the Civivi N O X, the Civivi Knox. I like it already and I haven't even touched it. You know what this feels like to me? The action. What? Budget version of the vapor. Really? I was thinking the kite fin looking at it. Look at that blade though. That's very weird. Nice hollow large. grind. Okay, so. That is a great size for me. Thank will you, you grab. Me. Thank you so much for thinking of me. What? Oh yeah, that's sweet. I was going to ask you to grab the kite fin. Yeah, but check check, check out what I'm saying here. Okay. Check All right, this is the Wii Vapor. Come on. Okay, now why don't we look at my no, I'm now. just saying my like the example. size and the, I'm not saying they're. Uh, so this is the one. I'm saying that it reminds me yeah, of a okay. stain, a budget version of that. Okay. Yeah, it's a little You see smaller, that, right? Though. But even look, look at the handle. It is smaller for it's sure. Paper sized. But is it smaller than the paper? Even? I think it's about the same size. Yep, same size. So definitely the yeah, same size it feels category. Feels smaller in the hand though, for some reason to me. I feel like the vapor. It's is more compact. This is thicker. Yeah, it's got. Some okay, so. I'll take that. The Civivi Knox. This is stainless steel. Um, the the frame. It doesn't feel like stainless. steel. I know it feels like titanium, doesn't? Yeah. Nitro V steel, which I actually like. Nitro V steel, deep carry clip, T8 hardware. Fantastic action, which you can you know expect. It's the not. The trap isn't as good as the open. Well, let me see without putting my finger on the lock bar. It's not all oh, bad. It's just you know. It's a small knife. It is a small, very. Let's look at the blade stock thickness. Nice and thin behind the edge. It looks like about a hundred and twenty thousand thick blade stock, but I'm not positive. But great action, great action. I like it. Um, a lot, and it's so small and compact that it seems. You want to open it? Yeah. It seems like it will really fit a lot of people's um, EDC, meaning the size. Okay, so now we got the next one coming out. Also, huge thanks and shout out to Seth. Um, he uh, is Wait, have the. You I don't know yet. I can't see it. Oh yeah, we got the um, we got the other version of it. Um, is it a front flipper the version with? Excuse me. Yes, it is. Excuse me. Uh, let me grab the Excuse other. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm gonna open it while you do that. Wow. Whoa. Okay. Just going off that thumb stud action. Oh, very nice liner lock access. I love it. Lock bar access. Yeah, this is um. This is good. I like the grip on the G10. It's not over the top grippy, but um. So it's the same oh. one as this one, um, just the G10 version, and this is. Does that this, one have the front flipper on it? Yes. This is the Civivi. Um, dang, I can't think of the name of it now. Um, the Civivi Imperium. So it's the G10 version, which this is contoured. This is flat. You're gonna get so away. it is a little different, possibly. This one's flat. If you can see, this one's contoured. So that is one difference. They're both going to be Nitro V steel, I believe. Um, feel that yep. G10, though. 
it's like in between like you know some g-tones are so grippy they're like sandpaper and then the other ones are like smooth yeah. it's like in the middle yeah it is it's very grippy definitely a lot grippier than the this version this version smooth and slick because it has the gold shred carbon fiber the action is really good on it though on both of them but yeah, I could see somebody who's wanting to use it as a work knife should definitely get the G10 ver or Micarta version because they also have the Micarta version. And somebody wanting a little showpiece, just a basic EDC. I feel like no one's going to buy this one. What are you talking about? This? this one. Why wouldn't people buy this? I don't know. I feel like people are going to see stainless steel and they're going to go for something G10 or Micarta first. Um, well, I think they, they only make this in stainless. I think they should buy it. No, I know. I'm saying they might just pick a different knife altogether. I don't think so. I think people are going to love this. I think this. they should get it. It's not heavy at all. So, like, no. I can feel the, the weight, you know, like, difference between um, if it was my Carter or something. But it is still very light because it's so compact. Saying, oh, I just don't think a lot of people are like, oh, stainless. Yeah, I you think know? I think people will be just fine with but it I for the what price. What I'm saying is, is that I think they should. I think they should give it a chance. Um, so like it's very similar to the weight of the kite fin, maybe a tiny bit heavier, but it feels like titanium to me. And you know, there's nothing wrong with stainless steel. This is not. Is this milled out? No, it's not milled out. Mm -hmm. So that doesn't feel heavier. Right. So this is going to be an awesome compact knife. And this grade of stainless isn't going to rust or have corrosion as easily as other steels. You know, this is going to be very corrosion resistant stainless steel. So you're not going to have to worry about that. Obviously, still take care of it. But I love the clean nature of it. The, yeah. Look at the logo, how it's like it matches. I love that. The hardware matches. Like this whole thing is such a clean looking knife. I love it. I yeah. personally think it's awesome. And I think uh, people would be fools not to get it if, you know, they like the look of it just because it's stainless. I, I think it's too. awesome. Yeah, it's not. Uh, I mean, I can go downward where, you know, but if I go like this, yeah, I'm touching the edge. But it's not a big deal. And let's look at that. So the plunge grind ends right about here. So they gave you a lot of life of sharpening. I think that's a fantastic choil. Awesome, man. I like it a lot. And then the Imperium is a very good knife. I have the review coming up on it very soon. Um, possibly, uh, you know, we might give one away maybe. Very awesome. All right, Seth. Um, I, I didn't finish what I was saying. So... Thanks to Seth for uh, sending these. He's He works for uh, We Knives. He's their, like, marketing director or whatever, you know, like, it's called that uh, he is. You know, he's, like, the face of their company, represents their company. Awesome dude. Um, great dude. Definitely, um, you can follow him on Instagram. And, yeah, very cool. All right, guys. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Peace. Peace.